Okay, next we're gonna embed our calendar into our Google site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off from our Gmail. We're gonna go to the Google Apps selector and we're gonna go down to Sites, which is down on the bottom left. And what this does is it brings up a list of all your sites. Uh, once you have one cre created, it will be here on this list. I'm just going to use this uh, BGRL one as this is my test site just to uh, show how to add in things to the site. So we'll open it up. It does open it up in a new tab. Um, once we uh, have our page open, we're going to click on the little pencil that's up at the top that says edit page. Once we click on that, it allows us to change the uh, title and also the body of what you're going to have on the uh, page itself. Now, here you can type whatever you'd like. You can just type in as needed. And after that, if you want to embed things into it, what you're going to do is we're going to go up to insert. Now, you're going to want to have your cursor wherever you want it to be insert, of course. But then we're going to click insert and it has some preset uh, buttons that you can click to add in things. Now you have some common things already set up like image and link if you wanna just add in an image or a link to a website. But over here on the right, you have everything that you have set up on your Google account already. You already have calendar, you have everything in your drive, so you can add in documents, folders, forms, images, presentations, anything you have set up already. Um, if you have things through Google+, Plus, if you have your Google+, Plus set up, and also you can have direct links to YouTube here as well. Uh, for this video, we are gonna just stick to the calendar. So what we do is we're gonna click calendar and every calendar that I've ever made will show up on this list. Um, it also shows up the list that I have shared with me as well. So I can embed those as well. So the one that we used earlier was the English one uh, calendar. So we're gonna embed that on my page. So I put a check mark next to my English one. Now, if you notice, you can only do one at a time. If I click another one, it just moves it over. So if you wanna put multiple calendars on your page, you will just have to do the same process uh, over again to add another one. So we're gonna click on English one and then I'm going to click select and it brings up this little menu. Now up at the top, there's not much we need to change. Everything's kind of set already from before. Uh, you want to make sure it's in month view so that way they can see the entire month. Um, the height and width are set already. We want to leave this blank so that way it shows 100% of the calendar. Um, if you do have issues with the calendar not showing, um, either let uh, myself know or your TSS and we can help you fix that on your page. But again, everything should be set already. All you have to do is just hit save and it pops up on your screen. Now, if you notice down here, uh, it doesn't show anything. That's because we're still in the edit feature and this just shows the options on what's going on here. So if I go up here to the top and hit save, then you can actually see what it's gonna look like on the page. So it does pop up. It shows everything that you want here. Um, my uh, assignment that I added in in the last video does pop up. So we have our objective, vocabulary, homework, and announcements. And again, as long as one person adds it to that calendar on the different people that I shared it with, it will show up on this web page. Uh, you can have other teachers embed the exact same calendar to their page if you have a uh, a group that all teaches the exact same way. And again, once one person adds it to the calendar, it will show up on every site. Uh, since this is set up as a, uh, as a public calendar, down here at the bottom, you have the option to add it to your Google Calendar as we showed in the last video. Again, uh, at the end of this, make sure you always hit save at the top because this is one of the few things in Google that does not auto save. So make sure you do hit save at the top whenever you finish.